Well, shooters and reloaders, fortune cookie, 45LC coming to you in hot lead zone. And I just took a trip out to Dick's Sporting Goods, and it was worth the trip because I got another box of this fine Hornady 223 ammo. 50 rounds for $29.95. So you add tax to that, you get over $30. But this is good Hornady brass. And that's really the reason why I'm buying it. And I now have 200 rounds of reserve in this fine factory ammo. And it shoots pretty well in my Remington 700 PS rifle anyway. But my reloads shoot a little better, but that's because I tailor it for that rifle. But this uh, factory ammo is good ammo. Well, you know, recently I was kind of uh, down on Hornady because of their policy of having short FTX brass in their revolver rounds and um, couldn't understand how come they couldn't just leave that brass alone and have it uh, full length and so we did a series of videos to show that that didn't have to be shortened but what happened was quite a few of you out there who are Hornady fans you got a lot of Hornady stuff on your reloading bench you love the ammo you love the brass and all this kind of stuff really Hornady fans and so when I mentioned about the FTX short brass, you know, it's kind of like throwing gasoline on a fire. And so, you know, it, quite a few of you out there were upset because I was kind of bashing Hornady. Well, I'm not bashing Hornady because I like their ammo. I just got done buying some other Hornady ammo for 308. And so, and I like the brass and this kind of thing. So, is it just the FTX that was short? Uh, so I, I'm a fan of Hornady. I've got Hornady stuff on my reloading bench and, and all this kind of thing. But I'm being realistic here. In the area of, of FTX ammo, they shorten that brass. And, and we really cannot give a good reason that that was necessary. I mean, I, you get all this stuff about, yes, it's necessary because of the old jive or the bullet or, or this kind of thing. You, you, but you just simply crimp it over the... the the junction of the nose to the shank and you get a nice crimp there that you don't have to shorten the breast. Anyway, Hornady, love this stuff. So I just got another one and, and if it goes on sale, I'll probably buy a little more, kind of like average down. Well, get this, while I was out there, they had a whole shelf full of CCI mini mags. So I picked up three boxes of 100 each of mini mags and we all like those but here's something else they had they had this Ely target ammo and so I went ahead and got a couple boxes of this Ely target ammo to test 50 rounds each there now what happened is there they all also have a lot of other 22 ammo there's a whole shelf full of it so it looks like the 22 shortage is over because they're getting a shipment now of, of the CCI 300 round boxes of their tactical 22 and uh, that's coming in and uh, they're getting a lot of that so not only are they getting 22 but they're getting resupply plus the 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 frenzy of buying 22 just when it's seen it's all bought and gone right away is not happening now so it looks like the 22 shortage is over and that's good news we don't know what will happen if the if the political climate changes all that can change again but right now there is no 22 shortage they're getting resupply their supplies out there and the demand is down right now so good time to get some 22 if you need some or if you're short of it uh, reserves are short might want to pick up a little bit don't need to buy any don't need to buy a whole case but turns out that there are no limits on 22 right now at Dick's Sporting Goods so take care bye for now